What did you do? Come on, man. Yeah, baby. Guess what just happened? What? Stepped on the gas and the gas pedal broke, baby. Boys, we're back here with Marcus. Woo! Mr. Juan Targa. We got Benny Boy pulling out here. Woo! Well, I'm gonna take this time to talk about how these carts have done after owning them for over a year. Now Marcus on his Smurf Kill cart has kind of bashed his, so his is in a lot worse condition than mine, mine's the red one, but overall both carts performance wise are pretty decent. They don't have a bunch of power, they each have about 10 horsepower, but they definitely get the job done and they're great for crawling, they're great for trail mobbing, a little bit of everything. Now they've both been pretty reliable, but some of the issues we have come across, for one the stock shocks on the front end for whatever reason on Marcus's, the strut actually bent and so the whole shock bent and so we had to replace them. Also the stock airbox that comes on these is not the best. I would recommend replacing it with a pod style filter. Here in Idaho, we can street legalize it by bringing the title in, giving them 60 bucks, and they'll mail us a plate in the mail. Then all we have to do is get it insured, grab a tag from the Parks and Rec, and we're off to the races. With that short review, let's get back to the adventures with Marcus. running right now. We're going to fix it and then go out and ride. More footage to come. Oh, we just ran over some plants. Great driver. Except the carburetor fix he was hoping for never came. We got it to my house and we did some work on it, but we determined that he needed a new carburetor. He didn't want to spend the money on it, so the cart spent the night at my house and then the following morning it was brought back to Marcus's place, where it now sits and has been sitting for the past year. Efforts have been made to try to help Marcus get this cart fixed, but he just hasn't taken the initiative yet and as such, it is still sitting at his house. However, he has asked me to help him fix it up this summer, so one day, it is possible that Smurf Kill may live on. Till next time, this is Cartman Productions. I'll see ya. Next time on Cartman Productions. Welcome to North Idaho, guys.